Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, May 11th, and you guys know what time it is. Let's go over the prices of cryptocurrency and also go over the analytics of what happened over the weekend and why we saw a 12 to 17% price drop in all cryptocurrencies. So if you're watching cryptocurrencies over the weekend, you saw a humongous drop in price depending on where you live, either Saturday night or Sunday morning, anywhere from 12 to like 20%. Now, if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, I told you that we were gonna see a nice price run up to about 10,000 and then correct back down a little bit after the halving and then go back up. I was wrong, it actually happened before the halving. Also, I did not expect for it to be so massive. I was thinking maybe we were gonna hit the low 9,000s, but we just dropped down to like 8,000 something. So let's run over the top four cryptocurrencies that I usually cover every single day, and then I'm gonna go into deeper analysis into Bitcoin. So the current price of Bitcoin is $8,663.35, only a change of 0.2% down from yesterday. Ethereum, $187.73, down 0.18% from yesterday. Dash, completely flat, zero change in the last 24 hours, $71.66. And Litecoin, down 0.7% at $41.72. Now let's jump into a detailed chart of Bitcoin and see what happened and how much volume was traded at that time. As you can see right here, this is the huge dump that everybody is talking about. After we hit 10,000, it started dropping down, going lower and lower. And then about that $9,700 range, we saw a nice drop off and then even more. And this huge red candlestick where we saw over $300 million worth of volume sold. So as you can see, we went from 9,560 all the way down to $8,099 in the span of seven minutes. However, it immediately did shoot back up to 8,500. A huge massive sell-off and then a huge massive back buy-in. Now, if you watched yesterday's video where I did a brief discussion on this, this is that resistance line that everybody is talking about, that $8,500 line, which is clearly signified here on this chart. You see, we went up and down and up and down, and we're kind of playing along this line. Now, I'm gonna explain why this line is so important in just a second. Because this transaction happened so late at night, not many people were aware of it for a few hours. And then right here, you saw a panic sell-off. A lot of investors that got into Bitcoin and were like, oh my God, it's tanking. I'm going to get out also. And then all the people taking advantage of the lower price, causing it to go back up to this resistance level. Now let's take this chart to about four hour candlesticks. So you can see here the same price drop that happened on Sunday. But if you look previously, where the candlesticks have touched this resistance line, we've got one, two, three, four solid resistance points with a normal economy. When you look at the stock market and a chart that does this, we have a huge price run up and then another gain. What it's called is a correction. Because things can't go up forever, it's just not statistically logical, things correct back down to what they think the average price should be. Now, most people thought that this was a massive crash and a big sell-off. I even put crash in my thumbnail just to get some views, but this is a simple correction of only 15%. Now, let's take this chart out even further to one day. As you can see here, this resistance line has been hit so many times. That's why the 200 day moving average is actually directly correlated to this line. Now, just to clarify, when you're using normal statistical analysis like you would in the stock market and candlestick charts, they work very well for the normal financial system. But because cryptocurrencies are so volatile, as you can see here, you have to take these signals with a grain of salt because you never know what Bitcoin's going to do. But in my opinion, as long as we play along this line and don't drop too far below it to the $4,000 mark again, like we did in the early part of March, after the halving happens, usually what we've seen in the past is a drop of 20% and then a rally up of about 40%. So if we stay at this $8,500 range, a 40% increase would be about this $1,200 range. This is where I think we're going to get to. And once we get here, we will also see a massive correction. 
So I'm thinking sell at about this point and try to get back in at around 10. Now, if you look at Twitter and you look at the internet and all the articles written on this, a lot of people are saying that this was caused by whales and that the entire market is dependent on these huge people that own a ton of Bitcoin and when they sell off, they're just screwing the little guy. But you also have to take into consideration these companies that do Bitcoin mining. They're the ones that keep Bitcoin alive. Their computers and processors process all these block transactions. Their reward for doing this is getting Bitcoins. Now, these miners also have to pay their bills, so they can't just mine Bitcoins and hold on to them forever. They have to sell them off to pay for their equipment. What we're seeing here is a massive sell-off by miners and some whales. Think about the people that bought Bitcoin when it was at $60 and they bought 5,000 of them. If they sell a big chunk, the market's going to react and we're going to see a correction like this. Now again, Bitcoin is extremely volatile and it's not widely adopted. Only 5% of the population actually uses cryptocurrencies. So we are in a very volatile state. In about 10 to 15 years, when it becomes more widely adopted, that's when we're gonna see a better, more consistent Bitcoin that's higher value because there is a limited amount of coins. Only 21 million Bitcoins can be in existence. So if you're a day trader or if you're holding long, make sure you do your research. Make sure you learn these charts. Make sure you stay up to date on all cryptocurrency news so that you can make the most informed decision when investing or selling. Join us later today when we go over the top news articles written in the last 24 hours to see if there's any more information on this topic. Topic. Don't forget to like the Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we will see you later today.